the White House, being a White House correspondent is a great job at the best of times. These are the most extraordinary of times. We're living through an era the likes of which I don't think anyone has ever seen before. Uh, there is uncertainty. At times it feels like you're engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the White House. Um, there is a sense of exhilaration and there is a sense of exhaustion because I've never known a period in politics where there is so much coming at you all the time and you kind of think it's going to quiet and down and it never does and there is always something happening and just this air of uncertainty the likes of which I don't think anyone has ever seen before because the decision-making processes in the White House at the moment are fairly chaotic and you know some of what you kind of get announced then gets unannounced some of which you didn't think was going to happen happens uncertainty reigns I think it's a very challenging time to be a journalist, and I equally think there's never been a better time to be a journalist. Look, there are all sorts of challenges because of fake news, of people wanting to put out stuff that is entirely inaccurate for whatever reasons, to sow discord, to sow confusion, to get people to change their minds, to just express falsehoods. I think working for the BBC, our job is to stick to facts, stick to reporting what we know, or fact-based judgments. We don't just go out there and say things and that I think that this represents an historic opportunity to us because I think there's a lot of uncertainty in the world and I think if we do that and do it aggressively, you know, if we know something, if we know something is a lie, we should say it's a lie uh, and I think that that is our opportunity. So it means that we've got to be quite cautious that we've checked everything before we say it but once we've checked it, we've got to be bold in telling people what is really happening. And hopefully, people will still want to know what is the truth and they'll come back to us for that reason.